This is a short video from the ONS looking at hours worked in the labour market. For a transcript, email info at ons.gov.uk. Firstly, looking at this graph, we will show how average hours for everyone in employment have changed since 1992, looking at April to June of each year. Plotting the line for everyone in work, we can see that over the period there has been a fall in the average working week, falling from around 38.1 hours in 1992 to around 36.3 hours in 2011. If we look at some of the major sectors of the UK economy, we see some differences in the average working week. People working in construction have tended to work the longest weekly hours, followed by those in manufacturing, while people working in the service sector tend to work shorter hours. One thing we can note on this graph is that in the construction sector, there has been a fall of around three hours in the average working week over the past decade. What is important to understand when considering the fall in average hours over the period is the influence of a changing economy in the UK. To illustrate this, we will firstly look at April to June 1992 and bring up this pie chart to show the share of employment across the different sectors. What we see is that around 68% was in the service sector, 21% in manufacturing, 7% in construction and 4% in other areas such as agriculture. Now looking at April to June 2011, and again bringing up a pie chart, and now putting on the percentages, what we see is that overall the service sector has a larger share of employment in 2011 compared to 1992, and whilst this has gone up, the share of employment in manufacturing has gone down. So, why is this important? If we return to the first chart shown, we see that people working in manufacturing tend to work on average longer hours than those in the service sector. So if we have more people employed in the service sector and fewer in manufacturing, this will act to reduce the average hours for the whole of the UK workforce if everything else was kept the same. For example, within the sectors there was no fall in the pattern of hours worked. If we look at part-time working in the UK since 1992, we can see that the share of total employment that is part-time has been steadily increasing from around 24% in 1992 to 27% in the second quarter of 2011. Another thing that is also interesting to look at is the percentage of people working part-time but would like to work full-time. We can see that following the end of the 1990s recession, it was around 14%, then fell as the economy recovered. It started to rise again from around 2004, with an accelerated increase at the onset of the most recent recession in 2008. In 2011, it stood at 16%, or around one in six working part-time. To consider this, here is the graph showing the fall in average hours in the UK, where the average working week was 38.1 hours in 1992 and 36.3 hours in 2011. This represents a fall of around 4.7%. To work out the effect of more service jobs and less manufacturing, if we assume that average hours worked in each sector was the same in 2011 as it was in 1992, then overall, the working week in 2011 would have been 37.5 hours, a fall of just 1.7%. However, there has also been a fall in average hours within the sectors, as some people have chosen to work fewer hours or employers have offered fewer hours, and so the remaining 3% of the fall in average hours is because of this. Finally, we will compare the average hours worked in the UK with some selected countries across the European Union. Firstly, the percentage of employment that is part-time varies across the different countries. Looking at this chart, we can see that part-time working is more prevalent in the UK than the EU as a whole, and also for some of the other major economies. It is also higher than our neighbours in Ireland, while the Netherlands has the highest percentage of part-time working at 49%. Countries with more part-time working will often have lower average hours overall for everyone in the labour market. Here is a graph showing the average hours for everyone in some selected countries. Firstly, this dashed line shows the European Union average, which stood at 37.4 hours. Now for the UK, average hours overall was slightly lower, explained by the higher percentage of part-time working. Greece worked the longest hours per week in Europe at 42.2, followed by the Czech Republic. Of the four larger economies in Europe, Spain worked the longest hours on average. The average working week in Ireland is shorter than the UK's, and in the Netherlands, because of the high percentage of part-time employment, the average working week for everyone is around 30.5, the lowest across the EU. 
Now if we focus on full-time working only, to account for the differences in the percentage working part-time, we see a different story. Here is the EU average at 41.6 hours per week. The UK working week for full-time people was longer at 42.7, with the longest hours in Greece and Austria at 43.7. Plotting the other countries, they are all lower than the UK, and the lowest average hours for full-time workers in the EU is in Denmark at 39.1 hours.